Hey everybody! So I have been obsessed with curtain bangs lately, so today I'm going to show you how to get them. So first, just start off by blow drying your bangs forward, smooth them out. It's going to make it so much easier when we cut our bangs if we have a clean canvas to work with. Then we're going to clean up our middle part to make sure we have clean sections. And then we're going to start by sectioning off our bangs. So they're just you section these as you would typical bangs you just want that triangle parting and if you want to i would start off with them a little bit thinner then thicker just to make sure that they're what you want you can always go back and add more hair so we're going to start with this parting i'm going to be using thinning slash texturizing shears to cut my bangs but you can use regular shears to cut them i just like the softer edge it gives uh, my bangs using the texturizing shears then take your comb, placing your hair between your fingers, and we're gonna comb it the opposite direction that we're going to be wearing it. And as you can see, I'm just taking it back over to see about how much I want to cut off. And then we're gonna be creating an angle. So the top is gonna to be shorter than the bottom, which will be longer. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take my shears and I'm gonna start cutting about how much I want off, starting less just to make sure that we can go back, tweak them and adjust them, but you don't wanna go off cutting too much to start because you can always take more off. But as you can see, I'm just creating this nice angle so the top is going to be shorter than the bottom so that when it lays, we have a nice tapered effect. So we're just, I'm keeping them at a low angle. I don't wanna take them too high to create too many layers or create too much elevation. But as you can see, I'm just taking little by little. And again, you can use regular shears to cut these, but I just like the softer effect it gives my hair when it lays. So as you can see, when I release it, it's got that nice angle. So it's shorter by my eye and eyebrow and longer as it goes down. So it blends really well with the rest of my hair. So those were still just a little bit too long for what I liked. So I'm again combing them the opposite direction. It's kind of parallel with my part. And then I'm just going to tweak and trim just a little bit more off of the ends. So if you are using regular shears, what you want to be doing is cutting into the hair. So as you see, I'm doing with my texturizing shears, I'm cutting into the hair, not just going at a blunt angle. It's just going to soften them and you're going to have a lot of control with how much you're taking off of them. So just cut into the hair like I'm doing here, except you're going to be taking more hair off with your regular shears if you're not using thinning shears. And then once I release them, you can see that great angle we have. So now, because my bangs are parted in the middle, I'm gonna take a small piece from the side I just cut on the shortest part, and I'm gonna add that over to the other side. So that's gonna be our guide. So that short piece is where we're gonna create the shortest piece on this side, starting our angle and then cutting down so it slowly starts to get a bit longer. So I'm just gonna start trimming away at those. And if your hair is long and you didn't have bangs to start, you're gonna do this the exact same way, except just make sure you know where you want them to lay and just start slow. You can always cut more hair off. Then I'm just checking and measuring to see if they're equal and even on both sides. So this side was a little bit longer, so I'm just tweaking and trimming a little bit off of that long end piece. And then I'm checking the middle to see if they're equal, and the left side was a little bit longer, as you can see. So I'm just gonna re-trim and tweak those and get them even. And they're about the same length now. So once they're about the same length and they're, they feel pretty equal and even, I'm gonna comb them all forward and all together. And then I'm gonna just check them and see if there are any stray pieces, any pieces that I need to trim and just clean up. So on the left side, the, the left side was still just a little bit longer when I put them all together. So I'm just cleaning that up. And there we go, that's them finished. I'm just taking my hair down so you can see how they all blend really well together. 
and I just love them. They're just effortless. Um, they are a bit of maintenance having to style and dry them, but bangs always are and they're worth it. They're a lot of fun. So I'm just going to flat iron and style them. So I clipped half of them up and out of the way and I'm just starting with the bottom section first, just giving it a curl under so it has some shape and then doing the same on the sides, just like so. And then that's it. My favorite way to wear these is with my hair pulled back. I always got so many compliments on them. So make sure to subscribe, look out for more videos on the horizon that are coming, and check out some old ones. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.